Welcome to the e-commerce coffee break. My name is Klaus Lauter and I'm an e-commerce growth advisor and business coach for businesses and brands that are using Shopify's e-commerce platform. And yes, I also like coffee. Each week you're going to get actionable advice, strategies and tips to optimize your online store and e-commerce business. So let's get started. Hey, it's Klaus here with another episode of the e-commerce coffee break. Today I want to talk about Amazon via Shopify. So which platform should you use? Um, I want to talk about the pros and cons of Amazon and Shopify as e-commerce platform, selling platforms, and um, dive in a little bit deeper what might be the best solution for your business. Now, obviously, I'm not going to explain you exactly what Amazon is. You should know that by now. And um, possibly you already know what Shopify is. So let's talk about some of the main differences. This is not in a particular order, so I start with the design flexibility. Now, if you have an Amazon store, you're very limited on what you can do design-wise um, on your store. Um, there's a couple of features that you can use, but overall, it, Amazon does not give you a lot of flexibility to create your brand, um, your color scheme, and so on and so forth in your own Amazon store. So you're sort of um, stuck with what kind of their layout principles are which has some advantages, disadvantages. Obviously, um, if you're building a brand, um, it will not be easily recognizable um, or as easily recognizable as if you're on, in your own store where you can design-wise do whatever you want. But on the other side, Amazon obviously has done a lot of testing on conversion optimization and has put best practices together to make the most of um, what their platform can offer for um, the seller and the buyer. On the other hand, if you're using Shopify, um, you have pretty much complete freedom of how the look and feel of your online store is, and you can put your complete brand guidelines in there, have the colors, have the fonts and the structure, whatever you want to do. So Shopify brings you or gives you a lot of flexibility when it comes to design features, which might be a huge bonus if you're running your own brand and people obviously come and recognize your brand already from the layout. Now, if we're talking about e-commerce tools and features, um, Shopify has a million of features. Shopify has the App Store. And um, if there is a feature which is not standard within Shopify, then you can just use the app and extend the features of your store with these apps. Certain advantage there, obviously. Um, you can use apps for marketing, um, for automation, um, for design, um, for chat, customer communication, whatsoever. There's pretty much everything out there um, that makes your life and your systems and um, workflows better um, in your business with the right apps. On the other hand, Amazon doesn't have much of that, but um, Amazon has the basics in there. And um, the advantage there is you're setting out on Amazon, it's proven, it's tested, it will not break. While with um, Shopify, if you're using a ton of apps, um, it might break your store, it might, might break um, your design, um, it will slow down your store, and obviously you have to pay for all of these apps separately. So you win on the flexibility side and you might potentially win if you're not testing enough on the stability side. Now, looking into shipping, the next one. Our Amazon makes it relatively easy for you. Um, with the Amazon FBA um, fulfillment by Amazon program, um, you have your um, items in, in a perfect world scenario in a Amazon warehouse. And they take care about the whole fulfillment. In the moment when somebody orders, um, they ship it out. It goes quickly. People might have Amazon Prime, US, Canada, wherever in Europe. Um, so you don't have to deal with all of the fulfillment part because that's done by Amazon. So there is a big advantage on that side. Nevertheless, Shopify has introduced the Shopify Fulfillment Network, which heads into the right dire uh, same direction. So um, means if you're... Um, housing your uh, stock, your products in a Shopify warehouse, then they also will take care about that and ship all the products for you. And it has a direct integration into the Shopify platform. So going forward, I think that Shopify um, will try to keep up um, or head in the same direction and become bigger when it comes to fulfillment, which might 
be only for the advantage of the seller. Now, obviously, most Shopify sellers do the fulfillment from their own side. So they either fulfill their self from their own warehouse or they do drop shipping, or they um, have a 3PL um, warehouse provider that um, is linked into their Shopify store and ships out. So work-wise, controlling-wise, there might be more work involved if you're using Shopify for the fulfillment. Gives you more control. Gives you also, again, more flexibility. So there's a lot of things you can do on Shopify when it comes to the fulfillment because you have the full control over it that you can't do in Amazon. Next and most important point, obviously, is um, fees for using these different platforms. Now, if you are using um, Amazon, then you probably will go on to the professional plan, which will cost you $39.99 per month. And then additionally to that, you have variable closing fees and shipping and fulfillment fees. So that adds up overall. Um, seems to be relatively affordable in the beginning, but there is a, uh, a bit of a uh, issue with that. Now, with Shopify, you have four plans where you can um, choose from. You have the basic Shopify plan for $29. You have the normal Shopify plan for $79, the advanced Shopify plan for $299, and the Shopify Plus starts from $2,000. Now, with these different levels of Shopify plans, you obviously get different feature sets. Um, the more expensive it becomes, the more features you get out of the box from Shopify. And then you need to consider also there that you um, pay transaction fees, um, you might have currency exchange fees, and you pay monthly fees for the apps that you are using. So your basic fees for um, Shopify can go up very, very quickly. So it's not that cheap um, uh, to run it on a monthly basis. But on the other hand, the percentage that Amazon takes from your sales is very high. So um, can become very costly as well. So you really need to um, sit down and calculate exactly what works better out for you. Um, again, um, pros and um, cons on, on both sides. Um, I think at the end of the day, it's really calculating um, your own margin and see that you're profitable. Then um, look into marketing and traffic. So how do you attract your customers? And I think that's a very important part. So um, for me as a marketer, um, I always um, a bit... Um, taken away from what Amazon does because they keep all your customer data. So the order runs through, people um, sign in with the Amazon account and you as a seller will not get hold of any of that. So everything runs in the back end and um, you get very limited data from Amazon who is buying from you there. Um, you can go instead and, and reports and get a, uh, a profile and, and get um, some idea of all who's buying from you, but from the individual, um, you want, for instance, not we will not get an email address um, or a phone number or something like that. Now, with that, you're very limited when it comes to build up your own marketing, your own marketing, um, build up your own list, um, build up SMS marketing and um, all of these things. Now, this becomes more and more important um, as you know that a lot of um, the paid platforms are cutting down um, on the um, privacy policies and um, Apple, what's going with Facebook on there and so on. So you want to really build your own email list and not building your business on someone else creating a um, buyer's profile by whatever your marketing activity is. Now on Shopify, it looks completely different. You get all the details from the customers and then obviously you can use all of that email addresses, phone numbers, if they agree, obviously, um, for your marketing activities. So that means um, upsells, cross-sells, um, getting people back to your store to um, get repeat um, purchases from your customers are very easy and straightforward. And I think that's one of the most important points for me personally to use Shopify um, because you control the data. Now, you have to obviously look that um, you're dealing um, with the right privacy policies and there's no leaks and whatsoever. But again, Shopify helps you with that. Um, so you, you own the data, um, Amazon owns the data. So that's, that's the huge difference there. Now, should you, which of the platforms should you use? So that was the initial question. Um, simple answer there, you should use them both. I would always suggest or recommend to have your core business on Shopify and then use Amazon as a additional sale, <coughs> sorry, as an additional sales channel. Um, 
as you should use also other sales channels that might be Etsy or other platforms that are out there, even eBay. You want to be as on as many sales platforms um, as possible out there. Um, Shopify makes it easy. There's an Amazon integration that you can use. Um, so it goes sort of hand in hand. It's not perfect yet, um, but um, it's get, get, getting much better. So you can use basically both of the platforms at the same time. When it comes to um, where do you get your marketing, obviously in Shopify, you have to go out and do your own marketing. Um, all marketing channels that are out there and drive traffic to your store because otherwise people will not necessary unless you are in the business for a long time and get generic traffic will not know where your store is now the buyer's intent with amazon is much higher people go to amazon because they want to buy something they already have the mindset of spending money of buying something um, therefore if you're on amazon the um, quality and probably the conversion rate um, on amazon is higher than on a shopify store where you people where you get people to the store and then obviously with your um, products with your artwork with your copy you want to convince them to buy from you and one final thing that comes to my mind is obviously trust. Um, people tend to trust Amazon. Um, that means they have no problem to pay on Amazon. Um, it's a professional um, system that's around for a long time. Um, so there is a very low um, hurdle to buy from Amazon because they know it and they know that there's all the return policies and all of that makes the life very easy for a buyer. On Shopify, obviously, you have to um, win this trust at first in the first place with your customer. So if you're a new brand, people might not know you and they might not necessarily want to buy from you because they don't know you. So um, that might take a little bit more work to build up the trust that people will buy from you. Now, when it comes to the checkout page, um, Shopify payments is by now relatively well known and um, it's out, um, out of the bat or out from start integrated into Shopify. Um, but you can also use third party providers um, if you, for instance, sell something um, that is not completely compliant to the Shopify payment um, policies, then you might find another third party provider out there who will take you on board and um, then you can process the payments through there. Um, also, Shopify payments is part of Stripe, um, so also very well known. Um, but again, you need to think about what kind of payments you want to use so that you can um, process the payments without any problems and also um, build up the trust on that side. So that's basically my short overview of why you should not only use Shopify um, and Amazon or Amazon, you should use them both and obviously look into other platforms. Um, but before you jump into one of the other, just keep in mind um, for both of them, there is a learning curve. Um, if you're starting with Shopify, there is a steep learning curve. If you're starting with Amazon, it's even um, steeper. There's um, a lot of things in the back end of Amazon. Um, so don't think that you can just jump on both of them, especially as a solopreneur, as a starter, um, it will just overwhelm you. So take it step by step. And um, once you have mastered one platform then move over to the other platform and possibly find some help or experts that can help you with that that's it for this e-commerce coffee break if you have any questions then obviously leave them in the comments um, like share comment as always um, if you here to listen to this to the in the podcast and um, please um, rank me or like me on itunes and if you're interested in my coaching and mentoring program for shopify store owners then send me a message and i get you all the details that's it for today chat soon have a great day